Hello, my name is Scott Anger. Welcome to your sixth Blender 2.6 tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be creating a material that looks like glass. So, let's open up Blender 2.6. And we're just going to make that disappear and we're going to put this in to full screen. Or at least I am. So, what I want to do is I want to click on the first thing I want to do is I'm going to click on the camera, hit Alt G and Alt R, and then we can go to top view and we hit grab Y and just bring it all the way there. Hit three. I want to go into orthographic mode. Then we're going to hit G is Z. And before I do anything else, make sure I want to select our cube and hit and go into the edit mode and just grab and Z and right along the thing. I want to zoom in a little bit more so I can grab and bring it right above the thing. So let's hit zero and that puts us there. So let's hit three and we're gonna select our camera again. Hit R no R uh, X and put it roughly where you think it should be. That wasn't enough. R X just a little bit. Zero and there's a pretty that's just about right. So now we're gonna Click Shift A to add a plane into our thing. Size and my grid's on 8, so let's just do that. Hit 30, tab, Z to go into uh, wireframe mode. A to deselect everything. B for our selecting tool. E to extrude. E to extrude just to create a sloped background. And once it's looking okay. Okay. So zero to make sure we can see the top. Okay. So you know what news we're gonna hit we go out of that size. X, make it just a little bit wider on X axis, axis, and let's hit Z to go into object mode. What I quickly want to do is I want to add a modifier so that that looks smoother when we are rendering, we're rendering our glass. So let's go into our modifiers and add subdivision and crank that all the way up to six. I might slow down your computer though. Usually it does with mine, but this time it's not. Let's just hit zero and F12 to render it and just to make sure it looks okay. So we can apply our modifier and hit X escape. And now here's the fun part. We're actually gonna put a material on this thing first. I'm just going to make it uh, let's make it white solid white, okay zero, okay and this is just going to be background, I'm just going to name it that and now we're going to click on our uh, rectangle uh, or not a rectangle, our cube, and we're gonna name this background glass, or, or this material glass. And we're just gonna leave the default color right now, and the specularity is the same. Now, so that we can make our glass, we're gonna click the transparency, and we're going to ray trace. I'm going to turn up this Fresnel to about 1.5, if I remember correctly. 
the this is our index of reflection. You can make this whatever you want using this index of reflection. But for right now, I'm just going to do glass. You can do water even with this, but I'm not doing that right now. So the index reflection or ref, of refraction for water glass is or flint glass is two point six or, or one point six five. So let's enter that. And you'll see that we can have this, this, that we have a little bit of a transparency up here. So we're just going to turn up our blend until it looks transparent. Okay. And now if we just render this, we'll have our transparent box. But we've got these weird lines in it. And I don't know why we have weird lines in there. But I also want to add a mirror. A ref turn up the reflection a little bit. Just and here's our little what allows us to see what we're doing. So hit F12 and see how that looks. Okay, looking a little bit better. And you can even change the color of this if you want. You can add like a green hue to it. If you hit F12 now. Be a little bit green, like some things. We can even apply this to a uh, a sphere, which would actually look really nice. Nice. So why don't we just do that? Shift A. UV sphere. One. Tab. G Z. G, Z, okay, G, X, okay, so let's edit, exit out of there, and we're just going to add, add, all right, Let's just do this from the beginning. We're just going to make this one completely clear. Transparency on. Ray trace for as well. Bring it up to 1.5 ish. Blend. Uh, 1.5. Enter. And let's test this out. Make sure I did it right. And wow, look at that. Actually, we should probably. <coughs> probably add a subdivide to that so it looks a little bit smoother. So let's go into our modifiers and add subdivision surface. I just can crank it all the way up to six and apply that. And hit F12 again. <laughs> this might take a little bit of time to render because it's gonna because of all of those vertices it's going to have to render and it should take too long and it's and there's our little circle or sphere whatever you want to call it I guess that'll be all I'll teach you in this tutorial thank you guys for watching Please subscribe or tell your friends about it and these videos help this get to be much better. I'm just going to close that and close that and thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.